Greetings everyone. This presentation is done by Professor Manjuri Joshi from Dr. D. Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. And this video is regarding Chapter Hospitality Skills Required for Front Office of Third Year BSCHS. Next slides is of a behavioral skills. Behavioral skills refers to the reflective ability of the individual in relation to the characteristics of the situation he or she may come up against. This ability may be organizational when the individual reacts in relation to the quality of his or her work. Self-presentation refers to how people attempt to the present themselves to control or shape how others view them. It involves expressing oneself and behaving in the ways that create a desired its impression. Posture means the way we stand or sit which gives information about how we feel. Right posture can make you feel better. Bad posture can make you feel nervous or uncomfortable. Body posture is a strong indicator of the power equation. Gesture is used of action for communication. By moving the parts of your body you can express specific and general message. Some voluntary and some spontaneous message. Gestures have a specific and intentional meaning. Example wave of the hand says hello or goodbye. Thumbs up indicates OK. In facial expression, face display myriad of expressions and feelings. Receiver rely on the facial expression of the center for meaning of the message. Example front office manager smile makes the guest feel happy. Next is eye contact. It is direct and powerful form of a non-verbal communication. It conveys wide range of emotion signal, messages, and indicate interest or a bottom. Front office staff should maintain eye contact while communicating with the guest. Next is speech. This is the expression or the ability to express thoughts and feelings by articulate sound. Many hotels use standard phrases while communicating with the guest. This slide explains about the nonverbal speech elements, such as voice, volume, rate, pitch, articulation, pronunciation, modulation, and pauses. Voice, it adds life to your message. The tone of a person's voice can communicate many important messages. We are able to tell if guest is angry or happy or nervous by their tone. Loudness and softness of the voice is dependent upon the volume scale. If your volume is too high you may sound insensitive. If your volume is too low you make on the way an impression of lack of a self-confidence. You should change your volume so as to make your voice audible and clear. Pace or rate means number of words which can speak as permanent it varies from person to person from 80 to 250 words per minute. This slide explains about the pitch which means the number of a vibration per second of your voice. The rise and fall of the voice conveys various emotions. It helps you to avoid being monotonous. Articulation. This means pronounce clearly and distinctively. Some lazy articulation will lower the credibility of the speaker. This develops the ability to speak distinctly causing any confusion. Pronunciation is the way in which a word for a language is spoken. This may refer to generally agreed upon the sequence of sound used in speaking the given word or a language in a specific dialect. The slide explains about the modulation. It is a way to regulate vary or adjust the tone, pitch, and volume of the sound or a speaking voice. It brings flexibility and vitality to your voice. This slide explains about the pause. It is a brief moment of silence between word and sound. It is a temporary stop in a speech. It is a natural process to give a break in your speech. Now we will have a look at the various marketing skills. Upselling, it is a process of a selling a more expensive version of the service or a product to your customer is buying. The slide explains about the downselling. Selling the product or service at a little bit lesser than the actual price of the product or a service. Suggestive selling. It is a self-techniques, where an employer asks customer, 
if they would like to include an additional purchase a recommends product which might suit the customer. Cross-selling means suggesting related product to the customer to earn more revenue. Next is overbooking. It means accepting more booking than the number of rooms available in the hotel to avoid the loss from no-show, cancellation, and early departure. This slide explains about the cross-cultural styles of a welcoming guest. First one is for a traditional welcome, in which the guest is welcomed with arathi, tikka, and garland. And another is a standard welcome, in which guest is welcomed with a firm handshake and smile on face. Thank you.